Welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Charleses. Today we are making pumpkin creme brulee cheesecake bars. Thanksgiving treat. Stay tuned. <laughs> So what we're going to do first is I went ahead and crushed some Oreos and put them in this bowl and melted some butter. So we're just going to go ahead and pour the melted butter on top of the crushed Oreos. And this is actually going to be the crust to our bars. Okay. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is add um, some sugar and a pinch of salt into the mixture and then continue mixing. So I went ahead and lined this pan with parchment paper. This will actually help to actually remove the bars from the pan. So if you have any parchment paper, feel free to use it because it will definitely help uh, with uh, cutting and removing the um, bars. So here is our Oreo crust. We're gonna go ahead and pat it down on the bottom and uh, make sure that it's nice and tight. All right, stay tuned. So the crust is all set. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the filling. So I have started um, mixing the cream cheese first, and then I'm going to go ahead and incorporate the sugar um, after it's pretty smooth. Um, so I just want to ask you a question. What is your favorite pumpkin dish? Thanksgiving is this Thursday. Um, in the next couple of days. What is your favorite dish? I would say that I really enjoy my mom's fried um, turkey, but I know that's not pumpkin, but uh, also like pumpkin pie, delicious. Just added the brown sugar. Now I'm going to go ahead and add our sugar. Now I went ahead and added the pumpkin puree. Going to go ahead and mix this. It's looking so good and it's smelling delicious. Delicious. So I did have to go ahead and go around the, um, the bowl and scrape the excess cream cheese from around the bowl. So you may have to do that if you decide to um, incorporate each of the ingredients one at a time. Um, it's probably best if you just add them all at the same time and mix them because if not, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> all right, stay tuned. Now it's time to add the egg and egg yolks into the mix. Continue mixing. So our vanilla and our pumpkin pie spice has been added to the mix. Now we're going to go, going to go ahead, tongue tied there, and pour it on top of our crust. Let's do it. So we went ahead and poured the mixture on the top of our crust and we're boiling water right now so we can put it inside our pan to bake it in the oven. All right, stay tuned. So here it is out of the oven. We refrigerated it overnight and then now we're going to cut into it. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some sugar on the top of our pumpkin cheesecake brulee bars, 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 bars. And then we're going to go ahead and brulee it. Make sure you're moving the torch side to side caramelizing it <clears throat> until it's about crunchy. It's looking pretty good. As you can tell, it is looking amazing. This is my favorite part. And at the end it gets crispy. I love it. Look at that. I think we're good. What do you think? Yeah! So here is our final product, ta-da! Here, listen, look at, listen to this goodness. 
And I am actually going to have the pleasure of Going into this concoction, look at this, look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Crunchy, delicious goodness. Maybe my new favorite Thanksgiving dessert. Now, if you like what you're seeing, please like. Mmm, just to buy on this right now. Share or subscribe. Remember, we are trying, and we will reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That is a goal. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, life's better. Well seasoned. Bye.